G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Culture. As always, my name's Corey Logan, and today we are at the gorgeous Bulumba Creek. Uh, we're just outside of Kenilworth, we've only just arrived. As you can see in the background behind me is the entrance to the Great Walks. Uh, there's creeks, walks, lookouts. Guys, there's so much to do out here. Let's get into it. All right, guys, you can see him behind me here. This is the main waterhole for uh, Bulumba Creek. So this sits in behind, I believe it's campground number two. Um, literally the campsites here are directly on the creek. So you've got to walk like five meters and you're down in these waterholes. Now, typically it's quite a family oriented area. You can see a few families down behind me here, uh, all enjoying the, uh, the waterhole there. Now, normally if you get here and there's no one here, you'll find that this creek can be up to two meters deep and crystal clear to the point where you can't actually tell how deep the creek is. Um, it's really, really well known for its rough um, or smooth pebbles. Uh, of all different shades, colours, sizes, um, and it's a real collage of nature that you find down here. It's absolutely amazing. So get on down here one day, even during the week, when the water's nice and clear, no one stirred it up, and you'll get to have a look at this, uh, this natural wonder. So, most of these tracks, guys, that we're walking on here along this gold mine trail, is uh, they're the original tracks that are actually cut into the sides of the hill here by the gold miners themselves. Now, most of these footsteps that you're coming up to originally, I'm about 300 meters from the mine, these are all man made. You can see the concrete mixed up into them. Um, not to say that the steps a bit further down aren't man made. But the steps a bit further down, I'll show you, have actually been chiseled by hand. Now that, that's amazing that the miners took a chisel and a sledgehammer and they chiseled their way into the side of the hill. Down here a little bit further, we'll get to that and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. All the old logs that would have been cut down here while they were using into the, in the mine there. All these rocks you can see right around this edge all here all up the, the stairs just there every single one of these has all been hand cut by the miners obviously all these railings and steps just here have been added in later on but I'll come up to the mine face here and uh, I'll show you the entrance that's been cut into the side of the hill Alright guys, so we're finally here at the gold mine at Bulumba Creek. Uh, it's about a 1.6k walk uh, up up and down in and out that terrain, but quite capable to um, walk for children um, or just a really good family walk in general. But in behind me here, you can see the gold mine. Uh, it's all fenced off at the moment because it's currently inhabited um, by two different species of bat. Um, and the colony lives deep inside that, uh, that cave there, which that cave being the original gold mine. Now, you can see that this gold mine has been hand chiseled uh, back in the early 1900s. They use nothing but sledgehammers and old coal chisels to work their way into this rock face, which is absolutely amazing. It just, it really does uh, boggle the mind the work they put in to digging this particular um, mine, mine shaft into the hill. As I said, they're 60 metres in guys, 60 metres. I don't think I could dig 60 metres into this hill if it was sand let alone solid rock. So that's, that's amazing. Very, very, very cool.